Good effing morning, America. Jericho Green here with you again, up before that ball of fire in the sky. And I'm gonna try something I've done only once before. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do this video with no profanity. Psych, haha, <laughs> fuck that. There's gonna be plenty of it. So, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have heard about that little seven-year-old girl who died in Border Patrol custody um, yesterday, a couple days ago, whatever. Um, a father shows up, and we're assuming it's her father. You know, sometimes these kids show up with the coyotes or the human traffickers who brought them here. But this girl shows up with her father. She's seven years old, and she's dehydrated. And where they were crossing was a very rural, rural part. So it wasn't near anything. So getting her medical attention took a while. I think it took about 90 minutes to get her to medical attention. Um, they revived her twice, but she died. And let me start by saying, the death of a child is the worst. Let me say it again. The death of a child is the worst thing that could happen to a human being, period. Now, some people might be sitting there saying, well, my dogs and my cats are my children. Shut the fuck up. No, they're not. I will take a Greyhound bus, rip the seats out, pack it to the fucking roof with puppies and kittens and set it on fire. And that is nothing compared to losing one child. That is the most horrible, awful thing that could ever happen to a person is to lose their fucking child. Now, having said that, the father of this little girl is a rotten, selfish piece of shit. And it's his fault that that little girl died. Now, if you look at all the headlines from the Alphabet Networks, from the Voxes, from the HuffPo, Washington Post, MSNBC, CNN, they all pretty much say the same thing. Seven-year-old girl dies in Border Patrol agent's custody. Seven-year-old girl dies in U.S. custody. Seven-year-old girl dies at the U.S. border. Blaming it on America, blaming it on the Border Patrol agents. It's our fault that we are the beacon to the rest of the world. It's our prosperity and freedom that drew those people here and caused that father to want to make that 3,000 mile trip with his seven year old daughter without enough fucking provisions to make the trip. But somehow, some way, that's America's fault and that's a US Border Patrol agent's fault. No responsibility on the father who brought her here in the first place. No responsibility on the man who is responsible for her well-being and her safety, who's supposed to feed her and clothe her and protect her. That is your obligation, that is your fucking purpose when you have kids. They did not ask to be here. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but storks don't fly around dropping babies on rooftops. Somebody has to lay down and get fucked, and somebody has to go inside of her to make a fucking baby. How in the fuck is it our fault as a country and the Border Patrol agents' fault that that little girl died of dehydration? That means over a certain period of time, she was not being taken care of. And that period of time took place before she got here. You don't get shot, stumble into the ER and die, and then blame it on the hospital for not saving your stupid ass. You think those Border Patrol agents don't have little girls? You think some of them didn't have little girls her age and didn't see their daughter's face in hers? You think those Border Patrol agents weren't driving as fast as that vehicle could go to get her to safety, to treatment, to medical attention? And... They let the father come with her. Now how they been the soulless fucking brown shirts that they're made out to be, 
they would have stuck to the rules, arrested the father, and separated him from his daughter. But no, because they have a heart beating inside their fucking chest, they let the father stay with his daughter who was dying. It is not the Border Patrol agent's fault that that little girl died. Now, never mind that they're going to have these images in their mind of this little girl dying and vomiting and foaming at the mouth and all the other horrible things that come with dying from dehydration. They're going to have the images of her lifeless little body in their mind forever. But that doesn't matter because they're soulless demons that work for Hitler, a.k.a. Trump, and they wanted that little girl to die. Every day those Border Patrol agents hop out of bed with death on their mind and as soon as they see an illegal alien child, they cannot wait to kill that little kid. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. They did everything they could to save that little girl. It's her father's fault that she died. That trip from Guatemala to here is like walking from California to New York. There are people that go hiking for the day that take more provisions than that fucking dummy did. It is so fucking sad that that little girl died. But what's also sad is that you have our out of touch, borderline retarded media blaming it on the border patrol, blaming it on America for being such a bastion of fucking hope and freedom and success that it caused, it drew this man here. He was powerless against it. You know in the old cartoons, old Tom and Jerry's and the old Bugs Bunny cartoons where they're roasting a chicken or some shit and the scent of that chicken floats and it almost makes a, a finger going like this. And the cartoon character will just close their eyes and float in the air and follow that scent to whatever's being cooked. That's what we do as America. We, we put out our pheromones of freedom and the people who are less fortunate can't help but just be drawn to America. Come to us. Come to us. Fuck that. I know we're the baddest motherfucker, the best motherfucker on earth. And here's the thing. We welcome immigrants. We welcome you. I work with a couple of immigrants. They paid, they studied, they waited, and came here. There's almost a level of, there's a level of admiration that we have for people like that. You would go through all that to be one of us? Man, you better get your ass in here by this fire and get a cup of this fucking American hot cocoa. Come on in. We don't hate immigrants. We hate illegal ones. Because you're stealing from us. You're stealing jobs. You're stealing money. You're stealing our culture. Man, shout out and condolences to that girl's family and those Border Patrol agents that had to live through that and deal with that. But to her father, you're a fucking asshole. You're a piece of shit. And you have to live with that for the rest of your fucking life. To all the liberal, elitist, out of touch, fuck face media, you guys are also rotten pieces of shit for blaming this on the wrong people. Blame it on the, on the father's dumb ass. Now, damn it, I gotta jump in this rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Follow your boy on the Twitters at green underscore Jericho. Please make sure you're still subbed. Please hit that notification bell. I'm Jericho Green, and I'm out.